Okay guys and gals, for this video we're going to take a look at the Lee Safety Powder Scale and this is an excellent scale to have on my channel especially for the newer loaders but I'll bet you there's going to be a lot of experienced reloaders that are going to learn a little something about this scale and I bet you a lot of them will realize this wouldn't be a bad scale to have on your bench because this one can actually be used to verify proper operation of a scale. Follow along and I'll show you this. This scale actually, um, when I was really thinking about bringing Lee onto the channel, this was one of their products that, that was really pushing me towards that. Let's see, out of their products, first off their dies, that was, that was the first product. Um, out of all the dies that I've had and got rid of, it's my Lee's that I always keep. Uh, I, I believe they, they bring probably the best value for the buck. Uh, then, of course, the Lee Classic Cast. I had to have that because of my own greed. But we have the Lee Deluxe Perfect Powder Measure. We have the Lee Auto Bench Prime. I've heard a lot of good about those products. I've checked them out. But this one, this product right here, will follow along and you'll see. So first off, if uh, you were at a gun show and you saw a box and someone hand wrote powder scale on it and the box was closed and you picked the box up and you went like this and you heard that noise, you'd know exactly what that was because there's only one scale that can make that noise and that is the Lee safety powder scale. Now, uh, okay, here's our here's our instructions and hopefully after you watch this video uh, these instructions will be easier for you to read. Um, there's a lot of reasons why this is the, the safety scale. Uh, first off, in the way of simplicity, there is no leveling adjustment on on the base, okay? Uh, and uh, I'll tell you something about this scale. As far as your bench uh, being uh, perfectly level, you can get away with a bench that's more off-level on this scale than you can probably most all other beam type scales because of the way this beam adjusts for zero and I'll show you this okay uh, so when we look under here there's there's it's it's simple right so we have our beam now I'm gonna explain this beam I'm going to explain this uh, in uh, detail, but as far as setting it up for adjustments, uh, follow on my channel over time. We'll dial it in for specific uh, charges. Um, to the left of the balance, you have the incremental uh, 10 grain advancements. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Incidentally, this is a 110 grain scale. To the right we have our whole number grains and our tenths of a grains. Your whole numbers are right here. Your tenths are right here. I'm looking into my camcorder. I don't think you guys are going to see this really clear but I think you get the idea. So these are from 0 to 9. Okay your tenths will take you up to 10 grains okay so we have 110 grains now a couple of uh, things I'll point out that make this a the safety scale first off this uh, this bearing it's just not a typical run-of-the-mill bearing it's very specific and it's it's uh, it's designed to tolerances you just can't swap it out Okay. One of the reasons this is a safety scale is because with this bearing in place, I can actually get away with moving this quite a bit before that moves. And I'm not I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that's why it's just one reason it's a safety scale. All right. Now let me show you this. Um, I've always kind of looked at this kind of like a little engineering marvel. When you go to a gun show, check one of these out. You'll see them. Um, this little nubbin here, I'm not sure what we calls it. 
wherever you have that set, if if you simply push it in, your slide won't move. Okay. There we go. So that slide will stay right there. Okay. So this means that with that slide locked in and this bearing wherever I decide to put it, it's going to stay put. Henceforth, safety scale. Okay. Now, how do you read this? I'm going to do my best to uh, show you this. Let me come up here. I just in the middle of the night outside, so it's pitch dark. I, all the light is all I have. There you see zero through one hundred. That's 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 pretty easy to understand. Where you put the bearing, that's where it's adjusted to. When we come over to here, this is the might be the part where you guys can't really see this. I'm gonna adjust this. Maybe you can see this, maybe you can't. Okay. Do you see the five, the six, and the seven? Do you see the three white lines? You're going to take the middle line. You see the six? That's what you're going to take. So you adjust this to where you see the three lines and you take the middle for the tenths. I'm going to loosen this now. I'm going to see if I can adjust this. See if you guys can watch it. Okay, you see the three lines? And as you adjust it, okay, that's seven. Seven tenths. That's that's five. Five tenths. See we got a white line on the four, the five, and the six. So it's five tenths. Now if you only have two lines, we could say, well that's you know five and a half. Right? Tenths, five and a half tenths. Actually point five six tenths, see what I'm saying? Um, don't don't take it down that far. There's no need. Three and take the middle of the two. And that's per your instructions. Does that make sense? So now I'm going to show you something. Um, for zeroing this in, okay, I'm going to set the scale up and I'm going to zero it. Do you see I have that zeroed? See that focused in? Perfectly zeroed. Do you see the large bearing is perfectly zeroed? Or remember how I told you that that bearing stays put and I've locked it in by pushing that button in? So now I'm free to take this provided I don't do something drastic and make that bearing move I can rest that into position right there and now let me tell you this um, I don't know where I just set my pointer guys um, well I got this pointer the balance that this sits on inside of there that's a razor blade it's brittle so now I'm going to tell you a story kind of a story before I tell you a story do you notice I just manipulated that and it stayed zero henceforth safety scale henceforth nice design here's our story our story goes like this you have a beam type scale and it's not a Lee safety scale. It's on your shelf. Your shelf breaks and the scale hits the bench. 
you find it sometime later, you panic, you grab your scale, you get it set up, and you zero it. But how do you know it's going to read accurately from zero all the way through its max capabilities? You don't know because you could have bent something. Even though you zeroed it, calibrated it to zero, you don't know if it's actually going to hold any accuracy through whatever range you need. Well, how this Lee works is that balance that I pointed out that's very brittle. If you had this on a bench and you drop something on this, a big book or something that's enough to damage it, this would either work or it won't. There's nothing to bend on this. In other words, you'll either bend that blade or you won't and if you don't bend the blade it'll work just the same as it did when it was new therefore uh, back in the day when you were talking to reloaders a reloader would tell you you could take any any of these Lee safety scales and you could use that as your verification for proper operation of a scale for other scales because other scales won't hold like the Lee. Does that make sense? Just process that out and you'll find it to be true. They're pan and pan hanger. I always say Lee's one of those companies have their own thing going on. The, the pan hanger is uh, fixed to the pan. One thing I like in taking this pan and pan hanger off there's not a little loop you gotta fit this through it's it's easy on and it's easy off okay just like that so now to zero this on the bench what we want to do we want our pointer to be dead even with the arrow on the base so now what I'm going to do very carefully and uh, these are very sensitive meaning uh, I can actually uh, turn this adjustment knob quite a bit is very little there so that's nice you, you can really dial it in let, let me let me show you what I mean okay and I'm really reaching in from the extreme right so bear with me on this okay so there we go I, I adjusted it there you go. A nice turn on that isn't very much right there. Not too doggone bad. And that's that's how that scale works. And that's the uh, uh, engineered feature behind the safety side of the scale. As a review, this bearing it's going to take quite a bit of movement to throw that off. Uh, this poise on the right, it's locked in. It's it's not going to move on you. Um, that balance is brittle. It's either going to work or it won't. But what you don't have to worry about is doing something to this skill to where it's not accurate. It's off. Okay, that would catch you off guard. This is either going to work or it isn't. So now if you have a another beam type scale and you compare that one to this one if there is a deviation on those, I would be suspect of the other one because this one, like I say, either work or it doesn't. Now, if you change the pan and pan hanger out on this, then you're going to have to send it back, have it calibrated, or you need a way to verify it through calibration weights all the way from zero through the maximum of 110 grains. Okay, so there we go. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice skill, and now you can see why uh, it's a nice skill to have on my channel just not for beginners but as an experienced uh, reloader it's 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 uh it's pretty uniquely uh designed and, and i'll tell you one last thing i really like about it and the older i get i gotta appreciate this but it's it's easy on the eyes it's very clear the whole numbers on the tents uh the lines are actually very easy to see uh just you have pretty halfway decently good lighting and of course your uh, to the left side you know 
the scale very easy to read and it's easy to see the that ball bearing so it's a, a wide scale it's mechanically dampened the whole works and it, it's it's a small scale it doesn't take up a lot of space so very nice okay so there we go so guys and gals that's the end of this video god bless we'll see you on the next